Hi friends, welcome back or welcome if you are new. My name is Crystal and today I am so excited to talk with YouTube again about a sim. Um, I haven't done a voiceover in a long time so I'm just going to try and do this one take. This is like take 10 but I'm going to try to do in one take. <laughs> this is Elara Galaxy. She is the generation 3 for my solar system legacy challenge that I'm doing off stream, off YouTube, kind of just for fun. And I thought it'd be really interesting to do a makeover of her and potentially the rest of her family on YouTube, for YouTube, because I miss YouTube. And I really want to start creating content on here again, maybe a little LP, nothing really intense. I'm not sure. Let me know what you think. But this is Alara Galaxy. She is Generation 3. She is Earth. So all of her uh, siblings and herself are named after Earth. Um, basically, I play this family off stream off youtube just for fun kind of whenever i have time and i'm really excited because this challenge is so me i love everything to do with space i love everything to do with like astrology and astronomy and all those things i mean both of those things don't make the same thing but you know what i mean <laughs> but basically it says uh for the challenge rules of this generation um, Alara is a middle child, which she technically is, but she isn't at the same time, who comes from a broken family with one parent who has to balance their time between them and all their siblings. Even though your family does love you, you never feel truly loved or seen. You're quite self-destructive. Because of this, you can never seem to let yourself be happy. There's still hope, though, for you to turn things around, but you must learn to love yourself before you can let anyone else love you again. You must be the middle child, which she technically is. I'll explain that in a second. Must have at least three romantic relationships, all of which you break up with them and do not ask for them to be friends. Have at least three careers, but quit your job before you reach level five. Master the wellness, gardening, and but not before you turn into an adult. Complete freelance botanist aspiration, but not before you turn into an adult. Have one child before reaching an adult and never marry until you're an elder. She has to be gloomy, loves the outdoors, and paranoid, and a freelance botanist. <laughs> so Alara kind of fits the, the bill here. Um, her mom is a beautiful sim named Vilipicilla Galaxy. Um, Vilipicula? I can never pronounce her mom's name. Just call her V. Um... <laughs> But V was a very hard name to find things that weren't like Venus for space names. So, uh, yeah, her mom V is uh, kind of this like really wild child, wants to um, have six romantic relationships, four children, has to adopt a child. Well, I don't think she had to adopt a child, but we adopted a child, um, has to have her sibling be her best friend. She's like in and out of relationships and there's no stability in the household. So. Alara really kind of <laughs> didn't have a stable childhood um, and the last sim that her mom ended up adopting was her sibling Christy who is the adopted child. She is a teenager though. Um, she is older than Alara but I'm kind of saying that Alara is the middle child because Christy did come after even though she's older than her, if that makes sense. Uh, just so that I could play with this sim because I really resonated with this sim. And um, since this isn't for like a YouTube challenge or anything like that, I was like, well, I'm going to bend the rules. I mean, Christy did come later and her mom is asexual. So I didn't want um, to have, like, I didn't want to have another baby through surrogacy or IVF, I, um, I mean. And I wanted to adopt a child. So that's kind of the route I'm going and I saw Christy and I was like she needs to be adopted but basically the family is made up of five sims and their cat we've got their mom V, V Galaxy she's absolutely gorgeous and beautiful their brother Elio Galaxy who is this adorable wonderful sim he um, just recently found out that he's gay and he is um, just absolutely amazing he is demisexual and gay and I love him so much. Then they have Christy, who is a romantic, and she is still in the closet. She has not come out to the family yet, but they will open her with loving arms, as they always do. Um, Alara here is a um, strong bloodline caster. She is a witch, but she has not come into her powers yet. She doesn't know she's a witch. Her mom has a weak bloodline. She doesn't know she's a witch either. Or no, her mom actually, sorry, has um, really gone into witchcraft to go to university twice, three times, I think. Um, she's actually duplicated a money tree, so she gets some money every day. And um, she's really into her witchcraft, which is the first time I've really been into that, except for in my whimsy challenge, which if you watch me on YouTube or on Twitch for that, um, yeah, that was a whole thing. <laughs> 
And then we have Alara's twin brother. His name is Eclipse. And he is this adorable, sweet, like self-assured. He feels like he's the hero. He's a genius. He's just adorable and amazing. But Alara is the one who stole my heart. She's the one that kind of is giving me a little bit of an actress's vibes. Her face reminds me of an actress and I can't remember the name of her right now, but I love Alara so much and her upbringing has not been stable. She does not know her father very well. Her mom is always on the move. As soon as her mom gets a call saying, hey, do you want to join this career? She's going and she's never really had a lot of attention except for her siblings. Like literally, I'm not even joking you, the moment that Ilara and Eclipse were born, Elio, their older brother, was playing with this um, this set, this uh, cooking set that you can use, and um, he would make them breakfast as a child. He was making them dinners while his mom was doing whatever she was doing, romancing people, and it was just a wild time. So he was taking care of them since the moment they were born, and... <laughs> It's been so messy. I love it, but it's so messy. But if you want to see more of this family, please let me know down below. I had so much fun doing this voiceover. I feel like I'm getting back in my element. I don't know. I feel like I have a spark again. My cheeks are flushed. I'm happy. Please make sure you drink your water, eat your food, hydrate, do all the important things, take your medicine if you have medicine, and just remember how important you are, how loved you are, and I hope to see you again. Bye, loves. Bye.